Just when you think we couldn't get any more variants of Wolverine and Spider-Man, bam, here we are with the Fantastic Four 2-pack, Marvel Legends, Wolverine, and Spider-Man. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another edition of that favorite game of who's in the Fantastic Four now with Spider-Man and Wolverine. But for all your Fantastic Four needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Use the link in the description below to support the channel. Appreciate all the support using my link over at Big Bad Toy Store. But of course, today we're going to find out a little bit more about Fantastic Four. This is a more recent edition of the Fantastic Four. When the rest of the crew was away, uh, Franklin and Val, the kids of the Fantastic Four, they called out the bat signal or the Spidey Wolverine signal and got them to help out. And they went another step. They said, if we're going to help out, we're going to get the outfits on. And that was what they did. A new Fantastic Four was born, at least momentarily, a brief mention. But when I think of new Fantastic Four, I go back to when I was a little kid collecting comic books. I was absolutely blown away when I forget the Mole Man got the Fantastic Four. It's been a long time since I've read the comic. I just remember that iconic cover. And Ghost Rider, Spider-Man, Wolverine, and the Hulk were the new Fantastic Four. And I thought that was the coolest thing when I was a kid. Very, very cool times. Uh, and that kind of gives us a little of this flavor now. Maybe not as star-studded. But a different version of the Fantastic Four is what we got here. And I said it as well, Wolverine, Spider-Man, we're never a stranger to those figures. They're always in the line multiple times every year. We've seemingly got almost every costume. I know we haven't, but it feels that way a lot. Now we get two more. So this is a nice one for Spider-Man fans, Wolverine fans. Going to jump in, pick this one up. Uh, and I can see some fans saying, I just want Wolverine, just want Spider-Man. Well, you need to link up with a friend. You can trade. You can do a little of that stuff. Who knows? Who knows? But one thing we do know is how we're going to do this unboxing. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. Nice box packaging design here. I love that purple background against the blue and black suits on those two. Fantastic Four logo. Spider-Man Wolverine, of course. Marvel Legends at the top looking very nice. Four and up on this one. Mark Summers taking notes. I know you thought this was 12 and up, but no, no. Four and up on this. So three-year-olds, they're dangerous. They can't be touching this. We know how that goes. Fantastic Four on the side. Marvel Legends. Little comic book action shots there looking nice. Then on the back, got a little bit more of that. Some jibber-jabber down below. No card, no storytelling, no nothing. Would have liked a little blurb here. It always helps people learn. We're all here to learn. That's what we want. So a little a little depiction there would have been nice to see, but not in the cards for whatever reason. Little Marvel Legends purple background. Off to the side. See you later. See you later, Spider-Man style right there. Wolverine and Spider-Man feel like we've been here before because we have about 100 times here on the channel. But we're back again. We're back again with some more. Got some extra Wolverine hands. Got some extra Spider-Man hands. Always appreciate the extra Spider-Man hands. Uh, if anybody ever needed extra hands, it was Spider-Man. He's got so many different things he can do, of course. And there it is. Clean as a whistle. See you later. Goodbye. Let's get down to business here. We're going to start with my boy Wolverine first, just because he's my favorite. That's where I'm going to start. We got two fists of Wolverine Fury right here, all wrapped up in blue gloves, ready to take on the world if he needs to. Now we're diving into Wolverine. So Wolverine looking interesting. Uh, not sure off the top of my head. I'm sure we've had this Wolverine body in the past. I'm sure we have. I mean, how have we not? But this one feels a little interesting. Obviously, he feels small. Wolverine a small guy. He's just a little guy. I wish he was above six feet. But now he's like five feet tall. So he's a little guy. It's always shocking when you meet him in person, of course. Uh, but he does look good like a young Glenn Danzig. Those that know that, of course. Uh, but looking good as far as Wolverine goes. We've got a lot of Wolverine costumes. This is far from his most iconic, but it is something that is uh, needed in the collection for Wolverines, Fantastic Four, things like that. Head sculpt looking very nice. You got the big wings on the side looking good in black. You got the white eyes going on. A very rough and tough stoic look on his face. Blue mask over the top as well. Got the blue and black attack on the outfit looking good. Got the X logo right there. X logo on the silver belt as well looking nice. Blue and black attack running strong. Blue boots on him here. 
One thing I noticed right away is the pin joints. Ugh, gross pin joints. But I do have blue. You can see inside those pins, there's a little bit of blue coloring. So a little overspray that kind of takes you out of the action a little bit. At least it does for me. On the top half here, you got some hairy arms on old Logan. Oh, Logan, old hairy. He needs to shave them arms up. Who knows? Uh, but looking interesting here, of course, looking like a Wolverine. And one thing that we always think of with Wolverine, I don't think we've ever had a Wolverine figure without them, is Wolverine's claws. We've had good claws. We've had bad claws. We've had indifferent claws. And these two, I guess they're the same. For a second, when I looked at it straight on, it looked like different sets of claws here. But they look okay. They're a little bit big, maybe, but I think they work. And we've seen through artwork animation movies wolverines had different size claws all over the place all over the place with claws and he's kind of that way here but do look nice they're not falling out on me that's one thing i hate when they fall out and i hate when they get really close together and they kind of fold in together these have a nice separation to them so i do like the claws on here articulation arms all the way around butterfly shoulders on wolverine he's ready to throw down at a moment's notice you get a bicep cut double jointed pinned elbows as i mentioned hands removable back forth side to side head a lot of movement on the head. We always get that with Wolverine, of course. A lot of movement. Head, of course, removable. There we go. Side to side, back and forth, up and down. You do get the ab crunch. You do get a waist articulation. You got those big old Logan splits. Of course, he was part of the Canadian gymnastics team once upon a time. Legs go way up there. Got a thigh cut. Double jointed. Pin knees. The pins keep on coming. Uh, we do get that. No boot cut, though. Ankles back and forth, side to side, up and down. So fairly usual articulation for Wolverine figures here. Just wish we had the pinned, pinless joints on this one. Not in the cards here. Not in the cards. But he does fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Wolvie we'll ready to take the world by storm with the Fantastic Four. But now we turn our attention over to Spider-Man, another iconic hero, another superhero team-up. These two were real bored that day when Frank and Val called them out there. We do get the I love you brother hands from Superfly Jimmy Snuka going on in the blue gloves. And then we do, of course, got the two gripping hands here. I don't, I don't know anybody that's going to use these. What's he going to grip? There's nothing to grip. There's no other accessories with this pack. It's the way it goes. But now we got Spider-Man out of the package right here. It looks like Spider-Man in the face. I think if somebody handed you this head, you'd say, oh, there's Spider-Man. But then you'd be a little confused. Why is he blue? But uh, it is blue Spider-Man here. White eyes on him there looking good. Uh, Wolverine had the X on his logo here. Spider-Man's got the Spider-Man there. So no four, no Fantastic Four logo, anything like that. They're keeping it in-home branded is what they're trying to do. Got the blue and black attack once again matching with Wolverine. All kinds of articulation on this one. The articulation much improved on this Spider-Man. You do get the butterfly shoulders. You do get the arms that are going to go all the way around for us. Bicep cut. Double jointed pinless elbows. The hits start playing again. Arms back or hands back and forth side to side. Hands removable, of course. Head removable back and forth side to side. Plenty of movement there. You got the upper hula hoop. You can even hear it a little bit there. You also got the big ab crunch there back and forth. No traditional waist on here, but plenty of that Spider Man articulation. Big old splits if you need them. No drop down hips. For some reason, I was thinking there was. Legs go up, thigh cut, double jointed, pinless knees. The hits continue. Boot cut, ankles back and forth, side to side, up and down. Plenty of articulation for old Spidey right here. Feeling good, looking good, part of the Fantastic Four. And he does fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Look at that. Fantastic Four rides again with two new members again back in the 90s of course i talked about it. they were in their more regular garb part of that fantastic four but this time they said we're going the extra mile we're going to don the suits with a twist with a twist and that's what they did right here but we got val and franklin richards here we got the new fantastic four not sure if i think they could beat the original fantastic four in a fight it would be tough obviously got some big helpers over here but the new kids i don't know are they ready to take on the thing and human torch I don't think so. They'll just say, Mom, Dad, don't ground us. We got a new team here. But very cool, very interesting, very nice to get this. When we got this two-pack, a lot of people have said, where's this? Well, about a year later, something, give or take, we get this pack here. So another team complete. I'm here about completing teams. It's always fun on our shelves. And this is a fun pack for what it is. This isn't a necessary pack. This isn't an iconic Wolverine. This isn't an iconic Spider-Man. This is one of those ones, if you're deep in the game, hey, I'm going to pick this up. I love the Fantastic Four. You love the story arc, whatever. You're picking it up. But if you're an ancillary fan, it's probably a pass. And that's a good reason why it's probably a fan channel exclusive, as it's not going to be for everybody. But it's there if you do want it. So a fun pack for what it is. Anytime you get Wolverine and Spider-Man, 
people are going to take notice, especially if they're in the Fantastic Four. But what are your guys' thoughts? This set a pickup for you? A pass? A long game? A no game? I didn't even know it existed game. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And were you like me back in like the 90s where you're like, oh, this new Fantastic Four going to change my life and it really didn't? You can let me know that too if you want. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. Appreciate all the support over there. ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for the Fantastic Four, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.